file his final report about Donald Trump as soon as next week. By the time the week was over, those media outlets were forced to admit that Mueller's report isn't coming next week after all. But we did learn that Mueller really is getting ready to swing the hammer. For the past year and a half, quite a number of political pundits on television have relied on two primary narratives to scare you into staying tuned in. The first is that Donald Trump can't be indicted while he's still in office. The second is that Trump is simply going to pardon everyone in the end. As Palmer Report has pointed out all along, these have both been 100% false narratives, yet the weakest of TV pundits have continued to rely on them during slow news days. But this week something happened. Over the past few days, some of these same TV pundits who have been stringing you along all this time are now suddenly reporting that, shocker, there is no hard and fast dodge rule against indicting a sitting president. Some of them are also reporting that, breaking news, Trump can't get anyone off the hook with pardons due to state level charges. The question is why these pundits are choosing now to suddenly abandon two of their most reliably ratings-friendly false narratives. The answer, of course, is that they think those two narratives are about to become obsolete anyway. In other words, the major media outlets have good reason to believe that Robert Mueller really is about to drop the hammer. Trump may get indicted in the process, and he definitely won't be able to get his people fully off the hook with pardons, 